Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanda Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to uh, look uh, into a very uh, real-time example of how a class definition. So in the last lesson, we have seen uh, the very basic definition uh, of a class and uh, how to create an object. Okay. So first, let me launch the ID. So we know that we are using a, a Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows desktop. Okay, so first let me create a new project here. So find new project and let me select the empty project here. And let me say that class and object. So whatever you wanted, uh, you can name your project. Let me say the class and object 2. Okay, so the Visual Studio uh, creates an empty folder structure on the right hand side if you observe in the solution explorer here. Okay. So if you right click uh, on the source files folder and you take add option and new item here and let's uh, create a new source file and let's say so whatever you wanted class.cvb okay so visual studio creates a blank uh, c++ file here so let me add uh, all the basic stuff here like header files so hash include i was stream okay Hash include Conio Storage. So, whether you need or not, uh, we add uh, some header files as a mandatory. So, using namespace std. Okay, a small mistake here namespace std. It's a very common thing. So, now, uh, so first let us uh, define a class here. So, here our intention uh, is to uh, create a class which consists of all the details of an uh, basic uh, basic details of our of an employee here so first let us name our uh, uh, class name as uh, my data here okay okay so I have uh, named the class name as my data okay so this is a convention uh, such that the class uh, like uh, the class names start with the uh, start with a capital letter uh, and every subsequent word uh, followed by that uh, starting uh, every subsequent word followed by that uh, starting word uh, consists also uh, starts with a capital letter here okay so this is a good convention uh, to follow uh, while programming in c++ okay so next let us take the uh, private data uh, data members of our class let's say private and let's say uh, int uh, emp or let's say okay, let's say emp number okay emp number <clears throat> and let's say uh, name so care name of 20 and uh, let's say care job of 20 okay so care job of 20 and let's also say the float uh, okay so these are the four basic uh, details uh, that any employee in this world might have okay so for that reason uh, since they are supposed to be the private uh, members of our class so we have our data members of our class we have declared them inside the private section of our class here okay so next let us uh, define our member functions so since member functions are accessible outside the class with an object so we are taking them in the public section here okay so public let's say void get my data okay so why get my data so or else you can uh, write directly get my data no need to follow any it is not a, there is no mandatory that you follow any certain specific convention so it's always left to the user here okay okay so now uh, so here we have to uh, store some information so here uh, so we are using the uh, basic input and output statements in C++ like C out and C in to enter some data into our uh, data members here so let, let us have a message here so enter the employee number okay so enter the employee number and you can have your uh, contemporary C in statement to store grab some input from the user and store into that uh, EMP number uh, data member okay so which is a EMP number here okay so in the same way you can have uh, the whole lot of uh, messages for all other variables also 
So he can say so enter the name of the employee. Okay. So again you can have you can say scene uh, name. Okay. So also you can say uh, again you can use the search statement. We have the same message. Enter the job title or job description, job title. Okay. So you can have the scene statement once again. I can say scene job. And again, one last short statement. Enter the salary of the employee. Salary of the employee, okay. So let's have a scene statement to grab the data uh, in the form of salary, okay. So we have done with our uh, get data method, uh, which is a public method. Uh, to enter the information uh, upon information uh, to store some values uh, into all our uh, private members here okay so in the same way uh, let's have another method sorry member function uh, you, you, let's say uh, display my data okay so don't get uh, scared by having uh, this long uh, <laughs> uh, names for uh, member functions here okay so in this method uh, let's say uh, C out slash and slash t slash t a couple of times my details are as follows okay so whatever you wanted you can have some message there slash in a couple of times and now let's have our uh, CO statements slash in slash and slash t okay my name is equal to so let's print the name here okay so since we have stored the name here on the same way so let's say my employee number is equal to EMP number and the Visual Studio is smart enough it's showing all the data members in the intelligence here okay so let's print the job also slash n slash t let's say I work as uh, let's close this and let's have the job variable here to print the data and the same is here in the last one I get uh, rupees <laughs> some some silly messages okay rupees paste close and sell as let's have this close this message and have some space as shallow okay the close the definitions of our member functions okay so we have done with our class so in this, in this uh, uh, real world kind of example so here we are building uh, a class called as my data which consists of uh, private members uh, all the information or all the uh, fields whichever uh, essential for an employee here so we have taken a public in the public section we have taken two uh, member functions here so get my data and display my data right so now let's take a main function so to create an object to our uh, class okay so our class name is my data okay the visual studio is smart enough uh, such that it's uh, showing in the intelligence uh, the my data uh, class which we have defined in the earlier uh, the earlier coding section here okay so let's take the name of the object as m1 to keep it simple so let's say m1 dot uh, get my data so i'm just calling the member function here it's m1 dot get my data and in the same way let me say m1 dot display my data here okay so i have taken uh, i have defined two member functions and uh, let's say scene dot get method here so scene dot get method uh, it's similar to a scene um, 
so it waits until uh, the user uh, gives any input uh, from the keyboard okay so to make our display uh, our output window console window uh, until user gives any input here okay so if you run this program uh, so far by pressing the f5 okay so we get it in a very tiny console window so let's uh, set some properties here like font uh, console is 36 and let's change the background color also to make our output uh, appealing background okay so this is the uh, output uh, we have just ran our program and now uh, it's asking for uh, since we have called the get data method at the very beginning so first it's asking for all these details uh, so whatever the code we have written inside this uh, member function get data so it asks us uh, to uh, slowly uh, enter uh, each and every particulars of the employee here so let's go to the output screen and let's enter each and every individual data here so let's say my employee number is going to be 642 my name is Srikanth Sari. okay my name is Srikanth Sari and it's skipped okay <laughs> since because there is a problem here so I'll, let, I'll trace out the problem let's enter the salary as uh, 20,000 okay so let's use the contemporary get ch only so scene dot get does not work in all cases here so the problem here is uh, uh, since we have taken uh, the name consists of first name and last name so the normal uh, 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 this uh, normal kind of uh, scene statement will not work here so let's take gets okay uh, name okay so now let's save it and run the program once again there is an error here okay so gets is also having a problem uh, maybe unsafe instead using a gets s here <laughs> so all these things are uh, new and latest additions to our uh, contemporary uh, C++ uh, they have changed a lot of things since Visual Studio implementation is a little bit different it's skipping here okay so there is a problem also so let's do one thing so let's uh, keep it scene dot let's use scene only okay so don't worry about uh, all those aesthetics uh, let's run the program once again so to keep it simple, uh, we'll trace out the input and output problems uh, later. Okay. So employee number six forty two, and name. Let's keep it only the one without any blanks. Regan job title. Let's say assistant professor. Okay. So salary twenty thousand. Yes. So those are my details here. Uh, there is a problem also. Okay, the national professor. Right? It's keeping all the time. So let's see what the problem here. Okay. Slash and slash. The employee number is equal to EMP number. Uh, so let's input the data once again here. Let's say six forty two. Employee uh, name. Uh, let's say Srikant. My name. Let's do a job title as professor okay let's say the employee salary is 20,000 so why it's coming as slash t here let's trace out the output is not uh, as we expected here okay slash in slash t <laughs> so we have misspelled uh, okay so we have just misspelled an x uh, excess uh, slash in slash t there here okay so also you can use uh, system cls okay system clear screen uh, okay so let's run it once again we have cleared everything employee id 642 name Srikant job title professor and salary 20 Okay. So here you have uh, all the details, uh, whatever you have uh, entered in our uh, uh, class uh, member function, uh, get my data here. Okay. So to summarize uh, once again, um, 
So to summarize, once again, uh, so what you have done here, uh, let's say, um, so here we have taken a class here, let's go to full screen once again. So we have built a class definition, uh, class my data. So it's going to end here with a semicolon, which is a very mandatory thing. And we have taken uh, four different uh, data members. Let's write a comment here. Data members. So in private section, okay. So member functions. So these are the member functions uh, inside the public section. Let's say comment here, member functions. Okay public section since uh, they are accessible outside the so accessible outside the class here okay so here we have taken uh, four different uh, since this is a real-time example of uh, how to implement a class uh, definition okay so how to implement a class definition uh, using a uh, private and public uh, sections here so we have uh, uh, four different fields for our employees here uh, so like EMP number name job and salary and so on and so forth so we have uh, two different methods so get data so get data is very uh, quite uh, straightforward uh, we have uh, inputted all our uh, data into our uh, particular fields and then we have used displayed them uh, using the display method here okay so since he here we have created an object okay let's set that in comment also created an object for my class my data for my data class okay so accessing so here we are uh, accessing the number functions so accessing the number functions using object okay so very simple class definition uh, uh, okay so using our uh, uh, class uh, in our C++, so if you run the program once again, one last time here, it's going to happily give some whatever the data you wanted uh, and some uh, whatever name you can say from me and you can say enter this job title engineer, engineer can have his salary as 40,000 since engineer gets a whole lot of salary. So whatever uh, my name is Praveen, uh, my name is Praveen, my the employee number is 521, work as an engineer, it gets uh, rupees 40,000 as salary here, okay. So this is the basic stuff about uh, class definition, defining a methods, uh, full-fledged methods like get data and uh, uh, display data and uh, the void is here because we don't return any data here and there are, uh, there are no uh, parameters uh, inside this uh, uh, get data definition also. In the future lessons, we, we are going to uh, look uh, another example so where the class uh, member function is going to return some data and it's also going to have some uh, parameters as arguments here okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye